Have you got an iPad and want to know how to DJ with it? Well, today we're gonna to break down everything you need to know about plugging in DJ controllers and how to set them up. Many of you may have just got an iPad for Christmas or maybe you're just wanting to get into the world of DJing and you already own an iPad. Now, there are many devices you can plug into your iPad and you can even use your finger and just use the on-screen controls. But if you do want to plug in a DJ controller, a question we get asked more than ever, especially when we're showcasing the iPad's performance videos, is how do you wire it in? How do you get the sound set up? How do you plug in your headphones, your speakers? Well, today I'm gonna to break it down for you and show you exactly what you need to do to get your iPad working with DJ software. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to set up your iPad with the Pioneer DDJ200. Now, the DDJ200 is the cheapest and most affordable entry-level controller by Pioneer. However, it is a bit strange in the way it wires up. Now, the DDJ200 doesn't have a sound card on board, so the sound has to come out of your iPad or your iPhone if you're using it with a phone. So the way we do it is the um, DDJ200 comes with a headphone splitter, now you use this splitter, if you've got an older iPad, you can plug that straight into the headphone port on your older iPad, but we've got an iPad Pro here in the office, so this is a USB Type-C. So what you have to do is go out and buy one of these. This is a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapter. What we'll do is we'll plug the headphone adapter into there, and then from here, there's two icons on the splitter. There is a speaker icon and a headphone icon. So we'll plug our headphones into the headphone icon, and then using a 3.5 millimeter um, headphone cable to RCA cable, we will plug in our speakers into the speaker icon here. And then we can go ahead and plug the headphone adapter straight in to the iPad. All we need to do now is connect the DDJ200 to the iPad. So first of all, we need to add some power to the Pioneer. Um, controller, so we'll get a 5 volt USB plug, you know, your typical phone charger, and then a USB A to USB B cable. We'll plug that into the power and into the back of the controller. So now we've plugged the power into our wall outlet, we'll plug the USB cable into the back of the controller, and it's powered up. Now all we need to do is go into the application, go to settings, go to MIDI devices, go to Bluetooth MIDI devices, allow access, and then we can see there's a Bluetooth MIDI device found, the DDJ200, we'll click on it, it's now connected, come out the settings, press done, and we can go into our library and play a song, just uh, load that in, it comes across here and we're away and we're playing on the DDJ200. So that's how you wire in the Pioneer DDJ200 to DJ with your iPad. So, if you want to plug in a bigger and better controller than the DDJ200, and this can be a variety of controllers, anything from the Pioneer DDJ400 through to the new Mark uh, MixTrack Pro, or maybe you've got a ReLoop controller, any of these controllers, they'll plug in the same way to the iPad. So first of all, we need to connect our speakers to the controller itself. Now, unlike the DDJ200, every other controller will actually handle the audio itself. So on the back of the controller here, we have two RCA ports where we'll connect our speakers, like so. And then also on the back here, we have a USB type B port. Now we need to connect that to the iPad. Now we can do this in a few ways, depending on which iPad you've got. If you've got an iPad Pro like we have here in the office, you can buy a USB type C port to a USB type B and just connect it directly in. But if you do that, you won't be able to charge the iPad. For that reason, we actually recommend going out and buying one of these. This is a little USB type C hub. Uh, it has USB type C pass through charging. So on the back of this uh, hub, we can plug in the charger, which will charge the iPad whilst we're DJing. And then we've got three USB Type-A ports which we can connect to the controller. 
If you have a older iPad, uh, one using a lightning port, you can go out and buy an adapter just like this one, which is a lightning to USB port and plug it straight in using the USB-A port um, cable that came with the controller. If you want to charge at the same time, Apple sell a connector called the Lightning to Camera USB 3 adapter. We'll show one up just here. If you buy that, you can charge your iPad and DJ at the same time, much of the same philosophy as this. You plug in your charger, plug in the USB cable, and away you go. So we're just gonna plug them in now. Last but not least, we just need to plug in our headphones to the front of the controller here, and the headphone port, and then open up your application of choice, plug in, and as long as your um, controller is supported by the algorithm application, which a vast majority are, it will recognize it straight away and you can start DJing straight away. And there you have it. That's how you set up your iPad with a controller to DJ with loudspeakers and your headphones plugged in. We hope this tutorial has been useful to you and it's been of help. If it has, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon to get more video and content just like this one. And we'll catch you in another video sometime soon. Thanks a lot.